Hi, it's Gwen Fox, and I'm I'm out ready to do some gardening, and I thought I would share with you some of the process that I go through, because guess what? Gardening enhances my art, and gardening will enhance everybody's art. But this is, this is what I thought I would do, a series to show you how my garden looks now, what I do, and how it relates to art. Because guess what? Now is the messy stage. It's just messy. Nothing looks good because it's spring, we're ready to plant, and everything is just kind of like dull from over winter. Now, a painting goes from either chaos to calm or calm to chaos. And my paintings go from chaos to calm. I don't know about yours. A garden does the same thing. Right now, it's all chaos, just just a mess. So the other thing is that in the gardening, you have to pick your colors. You have to know your design. You have to know what's going to grow where. You, It's the same with painting. You have to know a design. A design in your painting is as crucial as a design in a garden. So now I'm going to show you the messy part because I think it's really important that you know this. And what I'm going to do is to show you this as a series because we're going to watch the garden grow. And we'll probably watch a painting grow as well. I just think this is so much fun. So let me show you this and let's see if you can relate. Now remember, it's messy. So this is the garden that I'm going to be working on. And look at, I have a lot of pots. They're all, uh, you know, they're all in different stages of, of not being level, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Got a vine that's growing up onto this wonderful trellis. Then I've got to make some decisions over here. I've got to, just, I'm trying to decide if these uh, geraniums are going to be the ones that are going to enhance this pot and they're just sitting there. I've got uh, flowers over here that are uh, the kind of being sheltered because of the weather, but there's all of my dirt and I've got to get that out. And this will be the dahlia garden. Dahlias love to be together. So that's, that's the reason that this is gonna be the dahlia garden. So remember how messy it looks right now. And then later it's going to look awesome. Here are the flowers that I will be choosing from to put into the pots. These are not all of them. I've got some in the studio for the simple reason that it is too chilly for them to be out at night. But today, I think today is going to be partly plant planting day. But like in a garden and like in a painting, it's the foundation. And the foundation of a garden is the dirt. It's what you put into it to give it that um, that umph so that it'll grow. Now, your foundation in painting is knowledge. Knowledge on how to do things. So this is going to be uh, just how it relates and how it helps me in my art. So it doesn't matter if you have a large garden, if you have a small garden, it doesn't matter. You can even just have a pot. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you understand that the relationship between a garden and painting feed on each other. They help you. It's life. Your painting, you, you are putting your soul into your painting. You're putting your soul into the garden too. And it's wonderful when the flowers bloom and you look at this and you say, I did this just like a painting. You did that and you produced it from within. So I hope that uh, you're going to have a great day. I love you. Talk to you later. See you next time. We'll see how the garden looks. Bye.